profit and loss type 8 aptitude mathematics hi this is amay in this session we can discuss about the topic in aptitude as profit and loss type 8 it has related to two various of uh, two various subjects so one is two different selling price with loss percent is equal to profit percent on the second condition is neither profit or not loss okay let's see that so this is the type 8 okay in previous session we already discussed about up to type 7 in this first segment of profit and loss okay problem is the first one a man sold two flats for Six lakh seventy-five thousand nine hundred fifty-eight rupees each. So two flats for each. Okay. On one he gains sixteen percent. Why on the other he lost sixteen percent? Here the given loss percent value is equal to the profit percent value. Okay. Sixteen percent loss or sixteen percent gain at the same time sixteen percent loss. Okay. How much does he gain? Or loss in the whole transaction. Okay, let's see and find the answer. To solve this problem, we will get the answer. So given as the so loss percent and gain percent is equal. So gain percent, otherwise it's called as profit percent. That means the so L percent value and Last percent value is a sixteen percent. So when two different selling price with last percent is equal to profit percent, we can use the one formula that means L percent is equal to P percent. That means so it seems to be last. So L percent is equal to x square divided by Hundred percent. Here x is a sixteen. Okay, x is a sixteen. Therefore, last percent is equal to sixteen square divided by hundred percent. So sixteen square is a two fifty six divided by hundred percent is equal to so two fifty six divided by hundred. That means two point five six percent. Is a last person. So L person is equal to two point five six person. So this is the last value. We go for the second problem. The second one is the second one is a dealer sold three to fourth of his articles at a gain of twenty percent and the remaining of cost price. Find the gain earned by him in the whole transaction. In this The given conditions are first we can find the cost price, then we can find the so uh, that means selling price value, then last one we can find gain percent. Okay, for whole transaction, the solution the first one given they mention three to four copies articles. Okay, therefore cost price is three to four. The remaining is one by four. The fourth biggest one is a four by four is equal to one. The fourth cost price is equal to one. The next condition we can find the selling price value. Then we can uh, find the gain value. So gain is SP minus CP value. Okay. The dealer sold three to four of his article. So gain is twenty percent. And the remaining of cost price. So here, gain is twenty percent. That means one twenty divided by hundred. So three to fourth of his article. The so remaining is one by four. Okay, I can cancel this value. Zero zero is cancelled. Four three is twelve. So therefore nine divided by ten plus one by four. 
calcium of 10 and 4 is a 20. Here 9 twos are 80 plus 1 fives are 5. Therefore 23 by 20 is a sp value. Okay. Therefore sp is 23 by 20. We can find the gain value. So gain is equal to sp minus cp. Therefore 23 minus 20 minus 1 is equal to 23 minus 20 divided by 20 is equal to 3 by 20. Okay. We can update this value into gain percent. So gain percent otherwise profit percent is equal to gain divided by CP into 100. Here gain is 3 divided by 20. Cost price is what? Into 100. That's what? 3 by 20 into 100 percent. So 25 are 100. So 3 fives are 15 percent. Therefore, gain percent is equal to 15 percent. So this is 15 percent gain is for the whole transaction of this articles. That's it. Go for the third one. The next problem is, this is the last problem. The last problem is the third one. A man bought a horse and a carriage for 3000 rupees. Okay. He sold the horse at a gain of 20% and the carriage at a loss of 10%, thereby gaining 2% on the whole. Find the cost of the horse. So the condition is so a man bought a horse. So gain of the horse is 20%. Okay. He sold. The horse at a gain percent is 20% for a horse only. Here the courage. Okay. Here the courage is. He bought a courage at 3000 rupees. When he showed the courage. He get the. He got the loss percent. So loss is 10%. Okay. Thereby gaining 2% on the whole. When he sold the. Horse and carol, but he gains 2% on the whole transaction. So here, find the cost of the horse. Now we can find the cost price of the horse. The solution, the given is, so 20% of X, 20% okay, of X, this is for a horse. And the next one is 10% is a loss. So 10% loss for courage. Okay. So 10% loss for courage. So here 3000 rupees minus x. Okay. Because 10% loss for this courage. This is the bought. Uh, Cost price, this is the last percentage. Okay. So 2% gain for gain on the whole. That means 2% of 3000. Okay. So solve this. So here 20% of x, that means 20 divided by 100 into x. Minus 10 divided by 100 of 3000 minus x equal to 2 divided by 100 of 3000. Okay. We cancel this value. Here 25 is 100. Okay. Here is 10. Okay. Now we can take the LCM of uh, 5 and 10. We can get so 2x minus 3000 Okay, I can cancel the negative sign of 
both of uh, 3000 and minus x okay so minus 3000 so minus into minus plus x okay is equal to here is a 10 is 10 is common at here okay I get cancel this value to the right hand side okay therefore I can cancel 10 so 10 tens are 100 again I can cancel this value okay and further we can get the x sorry 3000 here 2x plus x is a 3x okay so 2 3 is a 600 so 2 300 is a 600 okay therefore 3 x is equal to so here minus 3000 is in the left hand left hand side it will go to the right hand side so negative side will be get into the positive side so 3000 minus 3000 will be plus 3000 okay 600 plus 3000 is equal to otherwise I can write it here so 3x is equal to 3600 okay to cancel this value so 12000 so this is the cost price cp is equal to rupees uh, 1200 sorry so cost price is 1200 so this is related to the neither a profit not loss person okay that means cp value is equal to sp value therefore sp is rupees 1200 okay the cost of the horse is 1200 this is the answer so this is related to the neither Profit not loss. This is the condition. It stays this condition. You can practice this three problems related to this type A of the conditions of keywords are two different selling price with loss percent is equal to the profit percent and the another condition is neither profit nor loss percent this is this problem is related to the neither profit nor loss percent that means cp is equal to sp uh, selling price is equal to the cost price if you like this video you can share with your friends and others never forget to subscribe this channel then only you will get a notification from don't hit subscription box. Until see one another video signing out somewhere and bye. Thanks for watching.